Hey, Socially Nina here, social media strategist, technical trainer, and owner of Nina Simone Consulting. So today I want to finally answer the question that everyone wants the answer to. How do I remove the background from my images? So um, today I'm in front of my nice pretty pink background and what if I took a picture like a selfie and I had all these pictures and I don't want the background. I want it to be on a blue background or maybe me outside. Um, there's a super, super, super simple way to do this. PicMonkey is an awesome free tool that allows you to remove the background, take your picture and plop it on something else. So um, I'm going to actually take you through those steps. Again, PicMonkey is free, but there are some um, royal features like certain um, backgrounds and images and things like that that is $4.99 a month. So if you do decide to move forward with the Royal membership, um, please use my link below. I get credit for that. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Just do the free version. So here we go. Okay, so to do this, you are, you would think you wanna edit an image, but really editing doesn't give you the tools you need. Um, you're gonna want to design an image. I'm just gonna go with the normal size, just to default. And then I'm going to add my picture as an overlay. So remember overlays are on the left hand side. It's the butterfly. Click on overlay. I'm going to choose my own picture. Okay, so here's my picture. I'm just going to use the corners to drag it to a reasonable size. Okay. Now, in the settings, usually it's over. The, it starts on the right, um, but in the settings, you're all, you always start with basic, and that's where you can make all of your changes and flip it back and forth, upside down, and whatever you want to do. Change the blends, whatever. Okay, I'm gonna change it back to um, normal. There we go. What you want to do is come over to Eraser, dun dun dun, and um, let me just show you a couple of things about the Eraser and the tools before we get started. So the size, so if I do this, where it starts, it's just that little bitty thing that I erased. I'm going to undo that. If I make it bigger, bam, okay, undo. The other part, the other thing you want to know about, I'm going to focus on my eye real quick. Okay. Do a little bit smaller. No, actually. Yeah, that's fine. So if I use um, the hardness at 100%, it's a full circle. You see that? But if I do the hardness at 0%, just the middle of it. So then I have to keep on clicking in the same place until it deletes everything I want and it's kind of like a fuzziness around it. So I'm going to do that again um, in a place that actually makes sense. It's probably hard to see there. So again if we do the eraser size over here and the hardness is at 100, it takes away the whole thing. If it's down to zero and as you're going through if you look on the slider you can see how it will look as you're erasing it. Same thing with the size. Okay, so I go down to zero. It's just a little bit of my hair. And it still kind of blends it a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in. Oops, just lost my mouse. I'm going to zoom in on the right hand side. So if you look in the bottom corner, I'm going to zoom in. Ooh. And you'll see on the right hand corner now I can move it around. I'm just going to drag it up. You'll see that it blends a little bit better. So when you're doing larger areas, of course you use a larger brush with the eraser on hardness. And when you're doing, um, or excuse me, at 100 hardness, um, when you're doing the smaller areas and you're getting closer, then um, you change it to three. The other part is if you, um, say I start doing this, you can go back and kind of undo certain areas and touch it up. And again, it's the same 
two options that you use. Okay, now that we know how to use the tools, let's get started. So before I erase, I'm going to go back to basic. See if I go back to basic, I have my four arrows and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Larger so I could see it. Okay, I'm going to start with my large eraser and just get all of the stuff I don't need. Oh, change this hardness to 100. And I'll just delete very easily. Okay. And same thing with this side. Just delete. And you just start going in a little bit smaller. And as you go smaller, you're going to want to change the hardness. And you may want to zoom in more. So I'm going to, uh, again, on my right hand side, I'm going to zoom in. And then I'm going to move it up to the area I need. You just kind of have to play around with the sizes that you need and the hardness. So I'm just going to go around my hair. I'm going to lessen this a little bit more. Okay. This is kind of time consuming. Um, it's good if you want to do quick things or you don't have like a lot of details in the background. Um, again, I'll show you in a second video the way I actually do it, even though Canvas, um, excuse me, even though PicMonkey is great for this, um, there's other tools that are great as well. Okay, so. Okay, and for the sake of this area um, of just saving time, I'm going to go all the way in. I'm going to use the brush here to kind of um, undo, change the hardness, undo little areas that I might have messed up. Okay, so I'm going to go back to basic real quick. Actually, I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm just going to click here so I can move around. And I want to get I can really do this outside with um, cropping, so I'm not going to worry about that. Click on the 100 and go over to the right side and do the same thing. Okay, so to crop it, you just need to um, go to the left-hand side to basic edits. I'm going to move this out the way. Basic edits and go to crop. It's not a true crop because, I'll show you in a second, just taking the corners like I usually do and just drag it to what I want, right? Then you apply crop. Perfect, right? But if you move it around, it's still there so it's not really cutting it cropping usually removes the extra items but that's fine okay um, one thing you want to do to remain to keep the background as transparent and actually let's make the background transparent <laughs> so I go to um, basic edits and then go to transparent I actually should have done that first but oh well um, we're gonna click on apply and these will not show up in your picture they're just that's kind of the symbol for transparency. So um, in order to reuse this over and over again, I'm going to save this. And this is where you want to always save it as a PNG. A JPEG will automatically turn the background white again. So everything you just did is basically null and void. So if you leave it as a PNG, what that does is it allows any transparency to stick. I don't know how else to say it. It just stays um, where um, the background is still going to be transparent. You can't really see it in this picture. Um, so I'm just going to do Nina no background. Um, when you name your pictures, name them in a way where if someone searched for them on the internet, they would be exactly what you want to find. And the reason why is um, when you upload your pictures to things like WordPress, um, it automatically takes the file name. So if you want to uh, put your name in there, like socially, Nina, 
is what I usually do. No background. Okay. But that's another lesson. I'm going to go ahead and save. After you save it um, with PicMonkey, it always comes back to um, your edit. So you can make different changes and all of that kind of stuff or start over. So I saved it locally. I'm actually going to start a new design so I can show you something. So I'm going to click on X, which is close, and I'm going to start a new design and I'll do a Facebook banner. Okay, it's still on canvas color, transparency, so you can apply a transparent background if you want, or what I'm gonna do is go down to um, the frames, and actually I don't think it's frames, it might be textures. Yes, textures, textures, excuse me. And then I'm going to pick this nice brick. Okay, you can pick different ones there's all kinds of different options here. I'm just going to click on apply. I'm going to then add my picture that I just um, edited as an overlay. So I'm going to click on your own and pick it up from my desktop. Okay, so now this is weird. It kind of drowns it out, but I'm going to take this picture and actually have a similar I have a similar um, Facebook cover like this, but it's a cartoon of myself. So you can do that, and then now, um, again, you can resize it, etc. But if I leave it here, you could do different blend modes if you want. That is kind of creepy. Okay, so you could play around with it. I kind of like that. And then you can um, let me go back to normal. Now add your text. And I'm going to use my, I have my branded text here. Um, PicMonkey allows you to uh, use your own fonts. So I'm going to take that, add the text, and just do Okay, I'm not going to go into this too much because the whole basis of this video was just to remove background and we did that. So this isn't the best color for this. Um, but yeah, that's basically how to do it. And if you have any questions, post them below. Hey, so did you like that video? If so, please like and subscribe. If anything didn't make sense or you have a question still, go ahead and leave your comments below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Again, like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.